Hi guys, the objective of this video is to summarize how we classify sedimentary rocks. We will be using all of the terms we defined in the video just prior to this one, so if you haven't watched the video just before this one, I'd maybe suggest you go and watch it now. So when we first try to classify sedimentary rock, we first look at the average grain size and we look at how much of the rock is made up of each different type of grain size. The largest type being gravel, where the grain is larger than two millimeters in diameter. If more than 50% of the rock is made up of these gravel sized grains, then we would call it a conglomerate. If more than 50% of the grains are around the size of sand, where we can just see them with the naked eye, we would say that the rock is a sandstone. If more than 50% of the rock is made up of grains that we can't actually really see very well, then we would call it a mudstone or shale. Now, once we've decided that a rock is either a mudstone or a shale, there's not much more we can really say about it because the grains are too small to see. However, for a sandstone, we can have a look at whether it is framework supported or matrix supported. If a sandstone is matrix supported, we call it wacky, which means that it has about more than 15% of mud acting as a matrix within the sandstone. If the sandstone is mainly made up of grains of sand without much mud acting as its matrix, we would call this sandstone framework supported, and that's called arenite. So the next thing we look at when we're considering sandstone is to look at the classed composition. A lithic sandstone is a sandstone which is made up of mainly lithic parti particles. Lithic means that the particles can be any sort of weathered rock, whether that be igneous, metamorphic or sedimentary. A